we're focusing on you as a home buyer. We've received so many phone calls over the last couple of weeks on how you're having trouble with the contract that you signed with your builder. You're having trouble bringing your builder to honor that contract and to look at the details of what was signed. Today, we're going to focus on the contract that gets signed between home buyer and builder. We're going to help you understand what should be in that contract and how you should handle it. Now, we're still some way away from the standard buyer builder contract, but the legal framework in our country, more so in the state of Maharashtra, and Maharashtra has had a law since 1963, has always been in the favor of the buyer. In light of the rising buyer grievances, we're going to revisit the standard agreement prescribed by the Maharashtra Ownership Flats Act of MOFA to safeguard your rights as, as a buyer. Hashtag know your rights. What should your agreement compulsorily have? My colleague Ruchi will take us through the, through the contract and the details of a buyer builder contract. Ruchi. Well, like our tagline rightly says, be unconfused. I am here to unconfuse uh, the new set of rules that have come out uh, by the MOFA or the Maharashtra, uh, Maharashtra Ownership of Flats Act that has made the life of a buyer easy in order to uh, know what an ideal buyer-builder agreement looks like. So just to take you through uh, the basic, in, in when we talk about the basic details, the date of the agreement, the location of the project, as well as the builder's name is uh, what is needed in this agreement. Now moving on to the area specifics, you need uh, the common area as well as the carpet area in addition to the FSI that has been utilized by the builder and that has already been uh, purchased by the builder as well. Moving on uh, to clarification in terms of land title, uh, the builder has to specify uh, in, case of, in case of a joint venture or a JD and provide convenience to the buyer as well as the date of possession. Moving on to payment, the advance payment made by the buyer as well as the payment uh, that is in balance has to be specified in this agreement. Agreement and the payment schedule of uh, this uh, the, uh, the payment schedule has to be in a, uh, accordance to the construction uh, stages in the agreement and uh, lastly coming to the list of approvals all the list of required approvals have to be specified by the builder to the buyer and lastly we need the builder to take an undertaking of the occupancy certificate as well as the completion certificate before handing over this project to uh, the buyer. Well, Richie, obviously we're getting a lot of complaints now about delays, about possible penalties that's owed to the buyer right now, that the buyer is having trouble, uh, you know, sourcing out of the builder. What is the law? What does MOFA say about penalties and delays? It certainly seems like uh, the, it's advantage buyer uh, that uh, MOFA has come out with uh, in order to tell you what an agreement uh, between the buyer and a builder ideally looks like. Uh, there are three major uh, things that, has been, that have been specified in this act that makes a buyer's life very easy. The first thing is the buyer consent is mandatory in case of any change in the project. May, uh, it may be due to uh, the increase in uh, raw materials or it may be due to any changes in the government policy but they have to be consented conveyed by the builder to the buyer. And secondly, the buyer will pay 9% per annum penalty uh, for uh, out of the total amount that has been paid uh, by the buyer to the builder in case of position delay or, uh, or in case of payment delay. So this is essentially what uh, the new MOFA Act has stated that spells uh, advantage buyer. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up the phone lines. At the bottom of your screen is a flashing phone number. That phone number is live. Wherever you are across the country, pick up the phone and call us if you have a question about a contract that you're either going to sign with a builder or you've already signed with a builder. Now, in the studio with me, Hemang Jariwala, he's an advocate of law at Aroma Law, Anshuman Niranjan Jagdab, he's the associate partner at Hirani and Company, Krishna Raj Rao is a, a consumer and redevelopment activist. They're all experts when it comes to this particular area of the law, when it comes to property and the contract that you and I have to sign with our builders. We're, like I said, opening up the phone lines. Any question you have at all, we're here to help you and that's why we're here. If there are rights that you don't know you have, this is, the, this is the day to find out. What I'm going to do right now is go first to Hemang Jariwala. Hemang, we have a lot of people who call us and say, listen, we've got contracts signed with builders right now that don't specify uh, fittings that are coming into uh, the house, that don't specify thing, details like when the society will be formed or when the amenities are going to be ready. So tell us how the law of MOFA guards the builders, the buyer's rights at this point. 1963, a very important legislation came into place, Maharashtra Ownership of Flats Act. In that section 3 clearly defines the liability of the builder 
to give you details as regards the land, as regards the plan, as regards to all the amenities, facilities, construction, material, etc., etc., in detail. Right. Second right. and most important thing is Section 4 of Maharashtra Ownership of Flats Act, which is called MOFA, mm -hmm. says that the agreement has to be mandatorily registered. Mm. Once a builder takes any amount, 5%, 10% of the consideration amount, he has to register the document because a registered document is very important for to be read as an evidence in the court of law in case of any dispute mm. because a right is created through a registered document. Thereafter, section 5 says that the amount which you are giving to the builder, he has to open up a separate account mm. and has to be accountable for all the money which he has received mm. towards the purchase of flat. And if Accountable to say that, that that money should be used on the construction of the flat that I have purchased. Absolutely. He cannot be using it possibly to build something else that he might correct, own across correct. the city. Mostly the delays are caused where the, this very amounts which you are giving for your own particular flat or a particular project is used by the builder somewhere else. Hmm. So that is the reason why section 5 of MOFA says that if the money is misappropriated by the builder, is using it somewhere else and not in your project, then there is a criminal How liability. Check? How do I check? If he's misappropriating, how do I You know? have to call upon him to give you all the details, right? And so, if he doesn't give you the details, hmm. then please approach the magistrate court under MOFA, under Section 13, and right. file a criminal complaint against all him. Right. Okay. So, in fact, uh, I'm being told we have a caller on the phone line right now who's called us for help. Uh, I'm also being told by my producer that this caller does not want to tell us his name. Uh, hello. Good evening. If you can yeah, hear yeah, us. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Tell us what your problem is. See, can I go ahead? Yes. See, now, I have purchased... Yes, go ahead. See, I have uh, purchased a flat in Pune, which is construction linked mm -hmm. activity. Okay. And I am making the making the payment regularly. And now there are one, two issues in that. One one issue is that uh, whatever money he is demanding, 5% for construction link, whatever progress takes place, mm -hmm. like footing and then plinth area, he is taking money from us. And then when I ask him whether can we come there for verification, what you are showing us, architecture certificate and uh, that uh, proof, can we verify on the site? He is right. refusing to allow us to go to the site. This is one issue. Okay. Second issue is he has signed in the agreement a confidentiality clause whereby we cannot disclose anything to anybody. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Back up here. When you say he has signed in the agreement a confidentiality clause, yeah. so you cannot disclose the name of the builder to anybody? No, I cannot disclose. I cannot disclose anything. To whom, to, to where shall I go? To whom shall I speak? Uh, In my opinion, that's completely illegal. Can you tell us what exactly that clause says? See, I am now actually outstation uh, in Hyderabad, okay. actually. Okay. So, I, I, so I was there, I would have read and uh, cut Okay, so you, hang on. No. What you're telling me is this. You don't want to give me your name. And you I cannot... cannot disclose because I have signed a confidentiality clause with him. And you okay, cannot tell me the builder's name because he's got you to sign a confidentiality agreement yeah, saying I that you... Signed uh, that agreement and got it registered. I just want to come in here. Yeah. See, the builder, and this is an open secret, imposes yeah. all kinds of clauses on you. Yeah. That doesn't mean that your rights have uh, been signed away. You may have signed. Okay. But your legal rights... No, no, so before, are before we even go there, away. before and we even go there, I want to view from, from the lawyers here, uh, Anshuman and Hemang, Hemang, come to us first. In my opinion, this confidentiality agreement is ridiculous, first of all, because it's all in, you know, that entire building detail will be in public uh, domain, and it's completely illegal. Is he allowed even to get his customers to sign this sort of a deal? This is absolutely an illegal and unlawful clause of, or, or an agreement. Maharashtra Ownership of Flats Act doesn't have any such clause and no person, actually this very fact is a void contract. Mm. You cannot restrict any individual from knowing what is happening into a project for which he has put in his hard-earned money. Apart from the RTI, he can know what the progress of the uh, project is, mm. but such clauses or such contract by where a person is restricted Right. To disclose the name or to even talk about it or to even know about it is ridiculous. Anshur? Yep. What uh, can he do now? Given okay, so we know we understand that this builder whose name we are not being told, but I promise you on Magic Bricks now, the next couple of days we will find out and we'll tell you who this builder is. This builder has gotten 
his customers to sign a confidentiality agreement. He's not letting them into the premises to actually see construction of the home that they're paying for. All they're receiving is architects' documents saying that construction is complete. If you're having a similar problem, there is a phone line at the bottom of your screen. Pick up the phone and call us. Anshuman, what can they do now? See, uh, to the extent of that particular clause in the agreement is concerned, it is invalid, but the rest of your agreement stands valid. So there is nothing that needs to be a concern for you as a flat purchaser, whether you can share the detail or not. The intent of the agreement is to enforce it legally. By having it confidential, the entire purpose is defeated. So per se, I think your worry is unfounded. You can very well use the agreement and take recourse of all the legal remedies available to you. What are the legal remedies available to him? See, multiple, yeah. see if your limited issue is that you want to verify, mm. uh, as rightly, if he has issued a charter, uh, sorry, a certificate from the architect, the architect yeah. themselves are governed by the councils and they have their regulations. So you could go on the face value, but still, if you are suspecting that, you could approach the competent court and seek a right to enter the property to verify. See, it's a construction site, so definitely you're not supposed to go and disturb the construction activity. But to the limited extent, you can always be granted such relief from the court. You could go to the civil court or for that matter, you could also go to the consumer court and express your valid apprehensions of the fact that the money is being charged premature because the site has not really reached to that level where the money you is know, being this is what demanded. I want to understand from the caller. The site Mr. has reached unless he allows us to go and see there, how do I... Exactly. So I now that the remedy yeah, is not... Yeah, the shorter yeah, I remedy. just take a uh, uh, yeah. step this. further is under 341 of the Indian Penal Code, it is wrongful restraint. Once you have entered into a contract with a builder into a project, okay, you are yeah. owning that flat for which you have made part payments. If somebody restricts you from going to that site, okay, yes. please use 341, which is a cognizable offense under the Indian Penal Code. The local yes. police will definitely assist you in this. And whoever yes. restrains you from enter, entering that project area okay. would be arrested. Are you telling him to file an FIR? No, there is no need to file There's an no FIR. To file he has to simply go to the local police station and he should say that these are the people who are restraining me from going into this uh, premises where I'm, I paid for the uh, uh, flat. Also, going back, going, back, Levi, going back to what you said, if it's within his rights to see the paperwork and the way the money is being spent, the money that he has paid for, yes. then he can ask the builder to show him the books, right? 100%. Section 5 is very clear of MOFA, wherein a separate account has to be kept. He can send a legal notice, he can call for the accounts, and if the accounts are not given, he can directly go and file a case with a magistrate uh, under Section 13 of MOFA. Krishna? Faye, I would like to say a couple of things here. The first thing here is to, to our anonymous caller. See, if you're going to be afraid of him, you might as well not have entered into this relationship. Okay? No, but then those things we come to know later on. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Then I, I would highly recommend that you should blow the whistle on him. There's something okay. called whistle blowing. Okay. It's a very legitimate activity. You could do it right no, now see, by naming Krishna, him. Krishna, 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 I'm going to respect the yeah. fears of this buyer no, fair because enough. it's an expensive deal to buy. I'm encouraging him. Yeah, encourage him. Encourage I'm him. Just by encouraging all means, him. Encourage him. You can blow the whistle on him. You can you can give it to someone like me who would help to blow the whistle on him. Whistle blowing is something that you it is your right, and I don't think there is any shame in it or there's something wrong about it or you're subject to defamation. Okay, so this is what I am going to say to our anonymous scholar, Mr. Homebuyer. We are here on Magic Bricks now to help you. I'm glad you got in touch with us. We will take this up without disclosing your name, without putting your any any portion of your, your purchase or your family in peril. We will take this up. With the help of the lawyers on the panel, we will bring this builder to court to book. I want to ask you this. Do you have an association formed with other people who have bought in the same building who are facing the same problem? No, no, I have not formed any of is there any way in which you can get in touch with them or is this is the fear of this confidentiality preventing you from reaching out to other buyers? Yeah, that is the fear that confidentiality clause prevents me. That clause is illegal. It's basically illegal. You've got two lawyers who said they are, it's illegal. The contract itself is void, my it, dear. So you need not even worry about it. This confidentiality business is absolutely illegal. It's a void contract. Okay, he cannot. So first of all, Mr. Homebuyer, this, this person who has made you sign this contract cannot hold you to it which means that you can get no, in touch with... No, no, yes. just a moment. I would yes. like to clarify because if he cannot hold you to it, then the whole thing will lapse. Okay. My suggestion is that only to that extent, that clause stands invalid. The mm. whole agreement is valid and subsisting. 
and you are still entitled to your flat and other terms and conditions Anjum, of the contract. He has entered into a separate uh, contract with him. It is not is a it part... a common contract or is it a separate agreement that you have entered into? It is, a, it is a common sale agreement. Yeah, in which that particular clause is included, if I am not wrong. Yeah, in that it is. Yeah, so only to, no, that, to extent that extent it is correct. Uh, no, there right. may be other extents also. There may be. Uh, okay. Have a good look at your agree agreement. There may be many clauses which may be illegal because someone with this attitude, someone who is trying to impose illegal clauses on you so blatantly, probably has included a lot of illegal con yes. uh, clauses such as no, one, being able no to sell your property. Any, any, any clause which prevents you from exercising your right hmm. is void. No, there are a number of common okay, entities so see, which okay, you can sell I want sell to understand off. this. Uh, for the oh, person yeah, on the more, phone line right query, now. One more query I have in that, in that agreement. Yes. There is one clause that since we are, it is a construction link, if we delay the payment by one day, we are being charged 18%. Right. Suppose he delays the position. Suppose X, he has promised me some date where when he will be giving me the position. And he has taken in writing from us that if he delays by one year, we will, we will not charge him anything and or he will pay us anything, any interest on that. Exactly. So it's in, inequitable. And when it is inequitable, to the extent of the inequity, it is void. Hemang, Hemang, we just went over MOFA which applies to this case because it's a Pune case. Right. In MOFA, we said 9% on both sides. It's minimum 9%. It's Absolutely. a minimum 9% so on both sides. Contextually, you could agree for this a greater interest. This is a case well. where, where my dear friend can take him to the magistrate court under the provisions of MOFA on many counts. Because all these clauses which you are trying to say that delay from your side payment is 18% and one year delay from his side, there is no liability. There may be even the statutory and mandatory clauses which he must not have put into the agreements. I would suggest that you may just, you know, show this uh, document to a property lawyer there mm. and please take his advice and file a criminal case against this gentleman okay. so that you will be able to okay. see what is actually happening with your money and the project. Okay. okay, I want to ask you a couple of questions since you're on the phone line with us. We will... My team will get back in touch with you and they will put you in touch with a good lawyer who can be trusted, who will help you out. Uh, the two lawyers on the panel, are you willing to help out this gentleman if we do put him in touch with you? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. Okay, all right. I want to ask you a couple of questions before you hang up. This builder yeah. that you signed a contract with, while you were signing the contract, did he mention the fact that, listen, this is going to be a confidentiality agreement, you cannot talk to anybody about this? We were this not contract? aware. After, see, we were not given the... We were not given the sale agreement also that time. We were given only in the time of registration registrar office. You are not given a copy to look at, Faye. It's no, a thick only document. There we were given. We were given there only. And okay. we were busy. We have to go to our office, sign and go. How many okay. pages does it contain, just if I may ask, since we are talking about this? About 100, hand. 200 pages? Actually, you know, I have... I have about 18, 20 pages. 18, 20 pages. Okay, hang on, hang on. Krishna, I have a couple of questions for this buyer. Is this home that you have bought in a township or is it a standalone building? No, it is a big township. It's a big township. It is, is it in the center of Pune or is it in up. one of the peripheral neighborhoods that are coming up now? No, that I will not unless I get my... Come on, <laughs> come on. Lawyer, I will but that's not. enough come information on. for me. That's enough information for me. I can find this out in the next day or two and we're going to track this very closely on Magic Bricks now. But I want to thank you for calling us because there are a lot of other viewers right now who have benefited okay, from this phone call. And if you're sitting at home and you're thinking about the same thing, pick up the phone and call you and we'll help you as well. We're going to get in touch with you, Mr. Home Buyer, and we're going to try and help you through this case and we'll make sure that you get both your home and your money. All right, we have another person on the phone line. Sunil is on the phone line. He's told us his name. Sunil, if you can hear us, tell us what your yeah, problem yeah, is. I How can, can yeah. we help you? Now, the first question is, uh, you... Uh, no matter how the criminal case is, mm -hmm. the police does not file a criminal case against the developer. Why not? Or, correct. Right? That's correct. They will say it is a civil matter, you go it's to the court. That's right. largely okay. correct. That's the you common how, experience. How much you try that this is a criminal case, the police are greased, you know, the pubs are greased, the bidder is uh, called. He gives them one lakh to five lakh rupees in the concerned police station. Sunil, what's your profession? I'm an advocate. You are an advocate. There you are. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. This is the common experience. The police always shoes you away, says yeah. that it's a civil matter between the builder and the buyer. They will not get into it and this is the common experience. So that is the so reason why, Krishna, then? I was trying Faith. to say and that there is no need to Faith. even go to the police station. Yeah. Okay, you okay. file a private company. The, the, the law is very clear. Reports. MOFA is very clear on this subject. Under Section 13, you have to file a private complaint 
with the magistrate court directly. The police doesn't come into okay, the picture. Okay, Himan, tell me this. If I want to oh. file a private complaint, what do I need? I just need one good lawyer? Oh, you need one good that, lawyer that, that, who understands the provisions subject. of law, especially MOFA, and you need your documents hmm. in place. In place and the correspondences or legal notices because it is documentary based. The whole case is document based and that is the reason why under section 13 if you go and file this case police doesn't have any role with and there is a 99% chances if you have done your homework well mm. to get conviction. With a little bit of pessimism, I'd like to inject a small note of pessimism okay, here. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, see, what the lawyers are saying, What I mean, I'm sure they know uh, what they are saying, but all the same, I would like to add that the common experience is you get mired uh, in the system. While it sounds right, MOFA has not imprisoned too many uh, uh, builders. I would like to know from our honorable friends here, how many... Uh, builders it's exactly have been jailed. That's a fair question. Because Anshuman there are imprisonment. And Hema, it's a cognizable offence. How many have been jailed from 1963 till date? I would like to have how a figure. How many have you I'll, I'll like In to answer. In my experience, I've come across none. 10, none. 20. Okay, Anshuman yeah, saying none. Hema? None. Okay. As regards Although the I have come across several complaints that have been filed. Yes. yes. Okay. What happens uh, is, no, that is exactly none. the point I'm trying to make here is, in case of any issue with the builder, hmm. whether delay, whether there's an agreement issue or any other issue, 99% of the people go and file a civil case either in the consumer fora or right. in the district courts or the high court. And then to us that it's taking too long and they're not Precisely. seeing any That is where the pessimism and yeah. frustration comes into play. Okay. Let me understand how many people who have been calling and saying that they are having so many issues with the builder have gone and even filed a criminal complaint. But so you're saying if you no. file a criminal complaint, you'll get faster action out you of the know, builder? Two, I'll tell two you. things will no, happen. The remedy... remedy oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No, wait. Anshuman, no, no, go ahead. No, 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 no. I meant to say is, uh, see, criminal action more, works more like a pressure. Hmm. It will ultimately result in the developer settling with you. But always remember, criminal action will never give you a remedy. Okay. The remedy will always be available in civil action. So whether you call about specific performance or you talk okay, so about interest so, okay, being okay, given okay, to you. Would it be fair to say is a toothless act? No, no. I because tell you, my experience have been, I have filed cases against quite a few builders. Hmm. Uh, so I, I, since how I, long I, you have been filing the criminal cases against that builders? Sorry? Uh, since how long you have been filing criminal cases against that builders? I mean, since how so long? You, first of all, the client has to be mentally ready to file a case against the builder. No, no. You As a lawyer, we always suggest that you should I, I, exercise I, I, your right this, under MOFA. But, I but many of the flat purchasers are not ready to file a criminal case. Okay, okay, I want to understand this. I want to understand this. Shaman, I want to understand this. When you say, yes. Anshuman, when you say my, 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 that my if I file a criminal uh, complaint against a builder, I might get a settlement. But if I actually want remedy, I need to file a civil complaint. Correct. Tell me the difference between settlement and remedy. And I'm going to ask my producers to put the phone line back, or phone number back on the screen for more people to get in touch with us. But Anshuman, tell us the difference between remedy and settlement if we are talking about, see the case we see, just remedy heard about. would really lie in the contents of your agreement, the terms of your agreement. So whatever that has been provided for, for example, a flat has to be delivered to you in a particular time. If not, you are entitled to damages. Now these are the remedies that we're talking about. For those performances which have been agreed under the contract, you will be required to go to a consumer court or maybe to okay. a civil court. To get what I was promised. Yes, for example, remedy. amenities. You may be okay. promised swimming pools, you may be promised certain quality of amenities right. or fixtures. And, and what's a settlement? It. And a settlement would be the fear of the fact that he will ultimately need to go to the jail if mm -hmm. being convicted. Therefore... Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. I just want to know how many of them have been convic convicted. If there is a real fear, None then how so many have been convicted? I think, yeah, I think Sunil question. Tiwari, so I think the point I said, that's being made on I the panel. Saying, yeah, yeah. So ultimately the fact that if it is progressing actively, it prompts the developer to come forward and oh, settle. But and how settle. many have been convicted? Where's the so fear? therefore the conviction is not ultimately achieved because the but intent yeah, behind Krishna. the buyer is also not to put him behind bars but to get his uh, remedy. Would one of you gentlemen please mention the economic offence wing since uh, primarily the kind of offences that the builders commit are economic offences. It's a combination See, of breach Krishna, of trust, Krishna, forgery, as a, as a home buyer uh, myself, fiddling with figures, no, no. taking over as, property. As a home buyer Be myself, I'll tell you this very clearly and I'm yeah. speaking as a customer. Sure. A lot of times what the home buyer fundamentally wants is either I get my home yes, or I get correct. my money back. Correct. I post that there's very little interest in actually seeing the person go to jail or see any of that happen Correct. or see him at some point clean up his books. So I even for getting my the life money back, savings into a home, I'd either get my home or my money. That so is the interest him, of in the a, On the negotiating table, 
right. would our gentleman kindly also inform us about the role of economic offence wing? See, Since Mr. Rao, what, what the is, builders primarily do is economic offences. Okay, yes. There, okay, is, there is a unit 3 which is looking after the uh, breaches or, Thank you. or uh, issues related to housing. Thank hmm. you. Okay. Yes. But here what happens is, is the limit now has gone up to 3 crores and above. People who are having issues of 3 crores and above can approach, can approach the economic office. Okay. That is the reason why, as, as uh, has been said in this channel, that yes. if you have a group of people, it is how you frame if you the have issue. an association okay. of people, okay. the, okay. the, my, the my economy would work also. much better. Okay. Amounts would be much no, see, uh, oh, bigger. I, one second. I want, I want all of our viewers to understand this. Sunil, one minute. Sunil, one minute on the phone. I want all of our viewers to understand this. The police has a department called the Economic Offences Wing. You can approach that Economic Offences Wing if you're having a problem worth 3 crore rupees Correct. or more. Now, if or your home less. that you've bought is less okay. than that, now, now, you need no, to find other that, people yeah. who will combine with you and take that number up to 3 crore rupees so you can approach the Economic Offences Wing. Sunil, Faye, yes. This is not a criminal, I, I, this is not a consumer I, I know, You have to frame the, the issue offense. in certain ways to make the offence clear to the police that it's not not three crores if he is if he is doing a criminal action it's not you That's can't put not... a value on the three crore or five crore or one crore it's a criminal okay. action all right, all right. running I'm to being, hundreds of I'm crores i'm being told we have one more caller on the phone line kishore ayangar is calling us from mumbai kishore thank you for calling us tell us how we can help you what's your question hello hello kishore yes we can hear you go ahead well i am kishore ayangar um night bricks now congratulations you bring the common man's light right on the screen and uh, you offer a lot of clarity. Uh, congratulations on that. Uh, Thank you, sir. Now, since your program is on Know Your Rights, I wanted to ask you, my society is going in for redevelopment. Right. And in the draft agreement, it was mentioned that the exit option does exist and a certain amount has been offered to people who want to quit. Now, uh, it has come to a stage where the final agreement is going to be finalized. And uh, in the initial stages, uh, rather immature on part of the managing committee, they were insisting that we exercise whatever options that we have at that moment without giving us the time to think or, uh, you know, ponder over it. Now, this, as you know, is a lifetime saving and uh, hard-earned money which has gone into the flats. Uh, I naturally took my time and I have still yet to decide on the exit option or uh, staying along with the... The uh, redevelopment. Kishore, just to be uh, clear, one second, what you're talking about is a redevelopment project. So you shifted this uh, topic slightly from no, buyer, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let him finish. Let him finish. On this channel, Krishna, on this channel, we are open to anybody who calls us for no, a that's problem. good. I'm, so go I'm just let, let, him, it clear. let him finish talking, please. Go on, yes, Kishore. I just wanted to know, and since it's about know your rights, uh, yes. specific to Krishna Raj. Perfect. Uh, does the society have the right or the way with all to? decide or impose a 10% cap on how many people can exist, you know, exit. And uh, don't I have the fundamental right to decide what I, what, I, what I need to decide since, I mean, it's a question of my life savings. Okay. That is what I wanted to ask because if, once the agreement goes through, then we are at uh, odd ends as to what to do and it becomes very difficult. So oh. please do offer clarity on that. Okay. Right. okay, you put your finger on something very, uh, 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 sort of a central issue in redevelopment. What usually happens is that the, the person entering into redevelopment along with his society okay, right. is, has no exit options. He cannot sell his flat and the right. builder gets a kind of a title immediately. So if okay. the builder is offering you a, uh, an exit option, that is, I, I presume what you mean is you can sell your flat to the builder at right. a reasonable price. Is it a reasonable price? Close to market price? Yes, it is. It is reasonable. It's, it's, it's uh, within the spectrum of the market price, you know, upper end, lower end of the market price, right? Right. That right. is okay. firstly a good thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if mm -hmm. they have put no, a see, cap, so. if they have put a cap on it, right. uh, it is subject to negotiation. The right. managing committee should ideally be on your side. Sadly, it, is, it, it isn't. Okay. So right. legally, no. legally, one second, legally, let's get a view, Hemang, uh, is the management committee allowed to put a cap and are they allowed to pressure residents into making a decision one way or the other within a certain time frame? See, basically, right. asked, yes. the builder or the managing committee cannot have a cap because right. if you are coming with a policy that you are going to have an exit policy, then right. whoever wants to avail of that uh, facility or the policy to exit Right. Sell a particular flat at a particular price, in your case being, you know, almost the market price. Whoever wants to exit should be given that option. 
you cannot have a cap because that is something which is trying to encroach upon or restrict your right to sell your flat. All right, Anshuman, yeah. what can he do now? Um, fundamentally, see, if the development agreement is getting passed, it would be with the majority of the members of the society. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you have to keep in mind that although you may have a different view, ultimately you have to appreciate that if majority have felt that it is correct, then you have to respect that. Believing that, okay, the majority, you still feel aggrieved. Uh, as it is said, it is an option available for you. So if it's an option available for you, you may exercise it or you may not exercise it. But right. if you are now looking out for a higher price, then mm -hmm. it is definitely a prerogative between you and the developer to Correct. see what can be best done about it. But per okay, se, it will not really bind no, you. His issue, Anshu, is that there is a cap and that is the reason why that is... Yeah, he was asked that only a few to make a decision. Yeah. Yeah. Exercise. And now, and that since that time has passed, he's been told he, can no longer, he no longer has no, the choice. No, but I'm putting it this way. In, in, in a society, if you are in case you are generally reselling a flat, if you are generally yeah. reselling a flat, you can still offer it at any rate. Nobody controls that price. Just because no, there's a the development agreement, with that developer, there is a cap. But provided yeah. you are allowed to sell it in the market to a third party, yeah, you will be free to you want. Correct. Kishor, Get a Kishor, a Kishor what is the problem that you are facing right now when so you I... attempt to find a buyer for your flat? No, I haven't done that. But I am waiting for the builder because he would probably offer yeah. the best offer. Ensure that, that your development agreement it doesn't have a clause I mean, which for, were... forbids yeah, a member from that. selling his flat to a third party. As long which as that is available, you sell it in the open market and do whatever. There is such clause, I think such a clause itself is illegal. Kishor, do you know if your contract forbids you from selling to a third party? Uh, no. It doesn't. Okay. So then there's no problem as there's long no as you, you you are completely within your legal rights to find yes. a buyer for your home. As far as the developer is concerned, he is bound by that price. So oh. He will not be Fake. in a position to offer a higher price, but that max price. This is the way I look at the clause. But for you, there is a liberty to approach the third parties. Five, five, while we are on this topic, yes. an exit clause is an excellent clause and everybody should negotiate for an exit clause while entering into redevelopment. Hmm. Managing committees highly discourage it because they are fighting more on the side of the builder than on the side of the flat owner. But it is that, in the interest of the flat owner. Sort of blanket paint everybody that way. But uh, in general, okay, yeah. let me put it this way: the common experience, hmm. the common experience is that in this unequal relationship between the builder and the flat owner, the managing committees of societies have a tendency, a very human tendency, to uh, move towards the rich man. Because okay. the rich man hands out money. Okay, sure. It's a sure. kind of Santa Claus. But in fact, I look at it differently. The fact that you have an exit clause and if the rate is really good, okay. All right. you are lucky because in case the project gets stalled, you can very well exercise that right and ensure that the flat is bought because you will then not get any third parties who would want to purchase your flat at no, that so This rate. is the right time you take a decision. Either you, if the builder is ready and willing to take the flat at the current price or you okay. sell it to somebody else who is willing to get in. All right, Kishore, unfortunately, you're going to have to make a decision this way or that way no, and no, find a really good lawyer to look through right. your contract and tell you what your rights are. I'm being told it's time for me to take a break, but there's a phone line that's open. Pick up the phone and call us. We're talking about contracts between builders and buyers. Don't go anywhere. We're here to help you today with your contracts. Now, we've got so many phone calls over the last couple of weeks. People calling us, telling us that builders have added clauses to contracts that shouldn't have been there. They're now prevented from disclosing the name of the builder. They're now prevented from entering the premises. There's no sort of penalty for the builder for not delivering on time. We're here to help you with all of that. There are laws that protect you. Those laws are on your side. All you need to do is know your rights, which is why we're here. There's a phone number at the bottom of your screen right now. Pick up the phone and call us if you have any questions. O on the panel with me, Hemang Jariwala stays with us. Anshuman Niranjan and Krishna Rao are all here to help you with the problems that you're having. And before we went into break, I was having a quick conversation with Anshuman and we talked about the fact that as a regular home buyer, I've already poured my entire life savings into this home. I'm now paying a pre-EMI on the interest rate. How much will it cost me? What will the legal costs be of approaching the courts and getting a remedy? Give me an average ballpark of what that costs. Uh, of course, the court fees are normal in Maharashtra, especially Bombay High Court. If you're taking a remedy, it will be max of 3 lakhs of rupees. What does the lawyer cost? But uh, now the lawyer's cost is a <laughs> cost that uh, every buyer will independently want to uh, assess for himself. So it will depend on the financial capacity of the buyer. 
Mm. You will have to so make a choice of an advocate. Yeah. For himself. So I, I, could, I could get a lawyer for as much as I could afford. Yes. Imam Jariwala, if I don't live in Maharashtra, and we talked about the MOFA being watertight and being on the customer side for so long, what if I live in Bangalore or Pune or New Delhi or some other part of the country that's not governed by MOFA? What remedy do I have then? Like uh, Maharashtra has MOFA, Karnataka has a uh, agree uh, law like this. I, I believe Haryana also has. Goa is in the process of formulating. But the General Act, which is the Indian Contract Act, hmm. it has clauses which safeguards the interest of parties. Hmm. For example, if, if there is a breach of a contract, where there is a delay and finally the whole project gets stalled, right? So, in spite of the flat purchasers having paid the money, installment wise, slab wise, whatever it is, and a fair, very after 80, yeah, 90 yeah, percent of forums, paid, yeah. and, and, and then the construction has just stalled. Hmm. Let's just right? look so at there the is a breach thing. of contract for which they have to go for specific relief, file a case, and then exercise their right under 73 of the Contract okay. Act. Okay. Uh, Heman, can I say? That we have criminal courts, number one, where there are criminal actions. Right. There are civil courts in general. No, I, I would not advise it, but there are civil courts. There are consumer courts. There are quasi-judicial bodies. Uh, Competition Commission of India is one of the quasi-judicial bodies where you can get quick relief, reasonably cheap, around the same cost as give or take consumer forum. Okay. There is the cooperative court where you can approach okay. not against the builder, but right. against your managing committee, which may give you okay, the same Krishna, remedy Krishna, as against Krishna, the builder. Minute. I have a phone, phone call right now so there from some someone called Pratima Rai, who is on the phone line with us, who wants help. Pratima, if you can hear us, tell us what yeah, your problem is. I, yes, I can hear you. Thank you so much for taking my call. And thanks so much for this platform. Uh, my You're query welcome. is, uh, once uh, the buyers receive their occupation certificate, Right. Then the next step is to form a society and register it. Then uh, tell me that the builder is charging us a packet. He's asking for about forty-five to 50000 to do so. Is it legally required or is he just uh, harassing us? Have you already oh got God. your OC and possession? Yes, we have got the OC as well as a possession. You can form your own, you can form your own society. His role is zero. He so is just... On. He, advantage you of your you needn't pay him one rupee to form that society. You can kick him out. Hey, Under Section 10 of Maharashtra Ownership of Flats Act, okay. a builder is supposed to mandatorily form a society, say by one third of the flats are sold. Even before the OC or even before the possession is given, the builder is supposed to form a society which will finally look after the well-being and the maintenance of. Now in the case where the builder does not form a society. Okay. As Mr. Rao said, mm -hmm. there is no need to wait for the builder to take any initiative. You as a flat purchaser in a group can under the Maharashtra Cooperative Societies Act 1960 approach the concerned deputy register, fill up the required forms and form a society of your own flat purchasers who will become a member of that society. But Mr. Rai, uh, my view, the way I understand the builder is volunteering to form a society. The issue with you is only the cost. See, under yes. the MOFA also, whatever monies that are being recovered, okay. accounts have to be given to the society that is ultimately formed. Whenever the first meeting of the society will happen at that time, he will have to pass on the balance and explain, give you the accounts as well. But so if it's only the issue of cost, you can very well understand as to why he's charging and under what caption so he's charging. But also, 45,000 rupees can account. never yeah. be, 45,000 yeah. rupees yeah. per flat purchaser can never it's ever be. Okay, so I want to formation. understand this, Pratima, Pratima, if you can hear us, tell us yes, this. Yes. Was this 45,000 rupees part I, of the contract? I, I, I that asked you for a breakup. I asked for a breakup and mm -hmm. what he said is, this is required to get the legal, uh, uh, the lease deed done. So I asked him, lease deed is a title of the... Uh, the developer, not the flat buyers. So he should pay for it and he should register. No, I no, would differ there. Uh, sorry. Mr. No, for the formation of the society, madam, understand one thing. Yes. That whether it is a freehold, whether it is a leasehold, Maharashtra Cooperative Societies Act 1960, Rules 1961 does not come in the way at all. It is, it is an act for the people to come together and form a cooperative society. Correct. It is as simple as that. So, we, once you no. form a society, you are going to be stronger 
as long as you are divided among yourself and as Anshuman, individual no, Anshuman, owners, Anshuman you're weak, you don't yeah. have a you don't have a, a Rai, locus standi. Yeah, Miss Rai, what I understand again is you're talking about two things here. You're talking about formation of society and you're also talking about conveyance to the society in the form of lease. Yeah. So he's basically doing two things. So you have to understand what exactly he's doing. Therefore, I asked you at the beginning, what is the so money he said, that he's charging you for? So the yeah, so land see, land formation of society is an independent act. Okay. Conveyance to the society by way of lease or uh, conveyance deed is a separate act. I would suggest and one thing. Please form the society. Uh, I would suggest one thing. So What's therefore, when, yeah. when he's asked you for a money of 45,000, if yeah. he's not giving a breakup, unfortunate, of course, you should insist for it. But there are yeah. several acts that he's doing and your contract must have provided that you have agreed to pay that amount to him. At, see, now it's a purchaser's cost. Ordinarily, anything is a purchaser's cost. So if it is a cost agreed by you, then you will have to really understand the legal tenability you of agreed, you opposing it now. Have you agreed to this? Is it part of your contract no, that this much no, will be charged? I, no, he said uh, you, the member, the flat buyers must cooperate in forming. You know, he like, uh, what do you say? In a very fact, uh, uh, informally, it is an arm, twist, is an arm twist. It is an arm please twisting the method at the fag end of the whole Project. process. Okay. Madam, there is no, need to, to, take there is no need to pay a single penny. Okay, Trust so me, go please go and form a cooperative society. But and just remember, you will also incur some costs, though not 45,000. Yeah. But more no, transparent costs. But, but, cost but, 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 but you will have does professionals help. engaged for the purpose Achoo, of but, formulation. But, but MOFA helps uh, the, the Miss Rai because she is in Bombay. Yeah, yeah. So Her nobody is opposing to the formation of cooperative society. The no, issue here is that the cost being charged for the formation of the society. So 45,000 in which they are saying that the society as well as conveyance. You can choose another professional. The builder is duty bound to... Convey the property. But here he is not escaping the right. okay. At his own cost. Okay, see, I want, to, I want to bring this up. Okay, but, uh, I form a society, we form a society, then he is mandatory to convey it. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Under absolutely. section 11 yes. of MOFA, the builder has to convey the lease in your favor within four months of you having formed a society matter. Great. Okay. It is his duty. Okay. All right, and there is a provision of deemed conveyance which you must so, be aware so of in corporate societies. So, so of course, that can be taken so advantage in case yes. your builder is not no cooperating. Okay. So a fairly easy decide. process and uh, oh. should not be an issue for you all. Yes, sir. Do we have to pay the stamp duty on the plot? See, what happens if your all the MOFA agreements have been stamped properly, all the flats of your building, yes. then what you have to pay is the nominal stamp duty. However, if there are any unsold premises, then there uh -huh. was some uh, law which okay. stated that that exemption can be granted to you. So, per se, there may not be much issue on stamp duty for you. All right. I, okay. All right, Pratima, we hope that helps. I'm going to move Thank on to you. other callers Thank because I, I've, yes. I've been told we have a lot of callers on the phone line right now. Our next caller is already available. Good evening. Tell us what your question is. Gajendra hello? Thakur, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, Go ahead. Tell yeah, us hello. what your question is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just have to, uh, bought a one place in your road. Okay. So, they, the builder is giving me position without an OC certificate. So I just wanted to know whether I should take a position without an OC certificate, certificate or uh, shall I move, move in after OC? And it's a hefty it fine for occupying a building without an OC and that can somehow, you know, cost you a lot more than what it will cost you right now. Hemang Jariwala, should he occupy without an OC? See, to be practical, please occupy the premises. Thank you. Because <laughs> I agree. Thank you. I agree. Sometimes yes. we have to be practical. You have to be practical. What we said about the hefty fine, yes, absolutely. Because occupying any premises without OC hmm. can lead you to an issue with the concerned uh, corporation. But okay. be practical. Take the possession and then okay. and then fight and then pressurize okay. the builder okay. to. Get you the OC also. See, if okay. you're paying, and, uh, if you're I paying additional to... rent and then you're fighting, you are weak. Okay. Get, okay. Take yeah, possession yeah. of your own house, sit down in your own house and then fight with him for all he's okay. worth. But uh, my One suggestion more. is still try to analyze as to what, what are the reasons for which OC is not being issued. See, if it's a fully okay. illegal building, maybe okay. try to avoid it. But if there are certain technical issues for which OC has got uh, restricted, or getting delayed, then might as well you can take your chance. Anshuman, if it's a fully illegal building, it's a little late for him to avoid late it. For because him to avoid he's, it. he's at so possession at this point. Have, That's his life saving. No, but try to understand. See, situations like Kampakola or Ulasnagar have been seen where, you know, people have gone through situations. So, might as well don't participate and agree. Okay, I want to understand also if he does occupy at this point and there is a fine from the local authorities, what sort of fine are we looking at here? See, fine is mainly yeah. non-occupancy charges. The taxes are heavy. Mm. Of course, illegal give me an idea action will result in demolition and actions under Please the municipal Please know that 60% of Mumbai is in the, in the same boat. 
<laughs> but that should give you some okay. courage. But just yes. so he knows what his risks are, do we have a, a so sort the of water charges are sixty percent more mm. than uh, the uh, buildings. The proper property taxes are more to that okay. effect. Okay. And it may also lead to some prosecution. See, today those kinds of violations are quite faint compared to what used to happen earlier. So okay. there is fairly a chance that for certain smaller issues, the OCs are not being issued. Can he, which... form, can, he doesn't need an OC to form a society, does no. he? No, no, no. no. You don't need he an OC to form but, a society. But I would suggest please, please right, head inside there the is premises, actually a constitutional right. occupy the premises, then under the right of information, as Anshuman said, please try to find out as to why OC is not being given. And then take appropriate steps with the consumer forum okay. or the or other forums. You could forums rather engage architects and try to take remedial measures. But take possession. Which could help you All to right. get take an Take possession, OC find out why the OC hasn't been given yet. And once you know that, take remedial measures to make sure the OC is presented to you. But occupy, I think there's a unanimous uh, advice coming in from our panel. Occupy the home as soon as possible. Gajendra, we hope that helps. Sure. I'm going to move on to our next caller. Good evening. We're on the phone right now. Can you tell My us what your problem is? Mehta. Hello? Hello? Hello, yes. Say? Yes. Kriti yeah, Mehta? Same. Yes, this is KC Mehta. Kriti Mehta, good evening. Tell us what your question yeah. is. See, I'm already dealing in properties. My company's name is Property Point in okay. Varsova and Delhi. All right? Okay. Now, the major problem which I'm facing, I'm going to invest some money in Pune. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. You want yeah, to invest some money me. in Pune. Right. What's the problem? Yes. In the property, I'm buying a shop in Undri. Okay. I'm going to pay the builder some X amount, which mm. uh, he required urgently. Mm. And the problem is that now he's going to make an agreement tomorrow. I'm going to complete the whole property uh, agreement tomorrow. It's a 36-page document. Okay, just you'll have to talk faster. We're running out of time, Kirti. What is the problem? Oh, 36, uh, yeah. Now, the problem is, should I make the full payment to him? And have you seen the draft agreement? Him? Has uh, he yes, allowed you to see the draft the, agreement? Yes, I've gone to the draft agreement. Yes, sir. Okay. Has he given you a copy of the draft agreement which you can yes, take I to a lawyer? Gone through it. Yes, I've already gone through it. Yes. It's good. I'm also an LLM graduate, so I know I've already gone through Super. certain points. So, okay. Is the construction complete? Yeah, hmm. the construction of that particular shop is complete. He's making a complete structure above it. That's a whole township which is coming up. Okay. So. And his, my shop is going to be used by him as an office space. Hmm. He's already made his office into it. And he's going to give me that after uh, after the end of December 2016. And all of this has been specified in your contract? Yes, absolutely. Are you comfortable telling us the name of the builder? Uh, well, uh, it's uh, Dynamic Builders. Okay, it's Dynamic Builders. Hemang Jariwala, should he go ahead and sign that yeah, uh, contract and pay yeah. the money? Handewadi, if there is no OC occupying your shop and using it as his office is itself an illegality. Just so you know. If the, if the OC is there... You're fine. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But if the OC is there, why aren't you occupying your your own shop? No, the way I understand no, it will be a site office, office of the builder. Give me yeah. a possession after December. That's what he's already mentioned. But has he got the OC or no? Not yet. Not yet. because In that case, he's committing on. an illegality by running his site office from that. There is an illegality right. involved. It's an MRTP offense. All right. Okay. Even Jariwala, so if, what's your if advice? You, if you are going to make the full payment for the shop, I would suggest yes. you should occupy the premises. Because today what would happen is that you would be paying 100% for the shop and right. somebody else, maybe the builder, is occupying right. the premises. Absolutely. So, so Absolutely. In, in this case, it is better either either you go slow in your payments, yes, okay. Okay. go it in a phased manner, right. so that you okay. will reach slab wise or till the time the OC is given, whatever that schedules are okay. there, so that you will reach the... Uh, uh, stage where the possession will be officially right. given to you. I think fundamentally what... But then uh, I lose out on the pricing, you know, I lose yeah, out okay, on okay. the lower price. So, so no, no, no. Out. fundamentally the what the panel is telling you is to hold something back. If you make okay. the entire payment and you've not got possession, then you have okay. nothing to hold over the head of the developer. Okay. You've given or him everything, you've played all your cards. Can I make a license agreement also side by side? Can I make a leave and license agreement so that I'm giving that space to him to run his office? uses itself in the point use. is that since there is no occupation certificate issued to that premises, if you enter yeah. into an LL with leave and license agreement, again right. that issue comes into play. That you are entering into an agreement in use. a premises which doesn't have an occupation. So it's an illegal use, use, either by you or your okay. licensee, doesn't yeah. matter. But on all a right. practical this thing, okay, he's paying you, we are all doing Jugad, we are all in the world of Jugad. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that's in the that's on the practical front. I would suggest right. that if you want to make full payment, then you may make yes. full payment, but see to it that the premises is shut. 
it's been oh, not yeah. used by the builder or you oh, LL yeah. it out to somebody else. Okay, first oh, advice is don't make full thing. payment. That's okay, I'm, I'm going to move on to our next on. caller. I have Simon on the phone line. Simon, if you can hear me, thank you for hi. calling us. Hi, good Tell evening, us how we can help you. Hi, Simon, go ahead. Yeah, basically I had booked a flat in 2014. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, the possession is in two months. So around a month back, I went to the place and I saw it and uh, the layout was not as per the registered agreement. Okay. okay, so I went back I went back to the builder and told him the same. So he came at me and inspected the premises and then his architect got in touch with me in uh, a couple of weeks and said, uh, we cannot give you the place as per the layout because of some uh, problems. Mm. So he said that uh, around 75 square feet carpet is less according to uh, our agreement. So he said he'll make a rectification deed and uh, whatever the money is, he will pay me back. The oh. thing I wanted to ask is that, uh, is this rectification deed possible? And another thing is that he uh, he said that because it's over a year that we've paid the stamp duty and stuff, we'll not get the uh, balance amount back. You can get okay, okay, a first, very Simon. good remedy from stamps, uh, from weights and measures no, department. Hang on, hang on. There's Simon, a weights and measures Simon, cheating issue. Simon, tell me what the name of the builder is. Uh, the name of the builder, should I say it? Sorry. So because he, he's kind of, you know, he's not blowing me off. He's being, he's being real practical with me, so... I think this is the, for me, the interesting learning this evening has been none of these customers want to tell us the name of the uh, Say his name again properly. Those he doesn't. He, he hasn't been saying. He, he didn't say Come his on. name. All right. I mean, okay. you guys have a chance to blow the whistle on the guy who's ripping you off, who's exploiting you. Okay. Why wouldn't you, you want to do it? Uh, all I want to know is what he's doing is right or wrong. All right. Okay. It's all right. Wrong. He's absolutely okay. doing Just a something. second. This is a weights and measures issue. No. You pay for one kilo sugar, okay. you get 900 grams. Okay. Okay. You're being cheated. No. It's that Krishna, basically, Krishna, one minute. Basically, one minute. I look Let's, at the issue. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little different he's issue. Money. What happens is, uh, while you may have signed an agreement with him, he may have shown a particular plan. Now, right. under the MOFA, in case any modification has to be done to the plan that has been shown to you, the consent okay. of the flat purchaser is required. It is just not about the reduction in area, but basic change of layout also gets covered in that. So therefore, okay. in my view, he should ought to have come to you before, before changing making the, the change. If it's yeah. not now, as per your no, agreement. That is a violation. Of course, if you would have been known about it before, you could have taken remedial step by moving the court and taking some sort of an order against him, not to change the plan or maybe to restore it to the original. Now, however, the I think the time has elapsed and the building has come up. In that circumstances, of course, today you have a remedy in damages. That's the way I look at it. Second thing, probably you can tell him, of course, today the building cannot be done and I'm sure you would be interested in taking the position. Mm. So second Absolutely. thing is whatever compensation that best you can look at. This is a case of cheating also. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. Take this thing so department. lightly yeah. I agree. I agree basically with gives yeah. you a rosy picture, so shows you that he's giving you a 1,500 square feet premises, enters into an agreement, which is duly stamped and registered and then one fine day says, oh, oh I'm extremely sorry, the plans have changed and yeah. now I'm just giving you a Not even one feet. fine day, on and possession. And I didn't inform you, I, sorry. Here is a person who's walked into the home he bought after a year of making payments to realize it's not no, what he paid for. No, under there's the a measures, measures issue. Indian Penal Code, there is a clear-cut offense there is a cheating, by yes. the builder where the measures meant if as per the agreement he doesn't give you it is a case of an okay. offence, a criminal right, right, offence. There's a criminal time. offence. You tell can go to the Weights and Measures Department. They will take him on for this. I'm telling you, this thing is headed. Absolutely. The Weights and Measures Department right, right. is headed by so a the top The only top. offence that he has they in my view is that he had not intimated you the change which, of plans. Which, according to MOFA, he's which, supposed to. Which he was supposed he's to. He's supposed to. And therefore, today, so that is one. No, and who knows that he's used the FSI So The question is whether you learnt it or it was informed to you. Maybe even later in the day. No, uh, I learned it when I went. Correct. Now, this is exactly yeah, the that's, issue that's, that's really for us. Individually, okay. so what, is what is the remedy? What is the remedy? Hemang Jariwala, what is the remedy? No, basically, see, as, as Anshuman says, that now everything is ready and you should be taking the Possession. damages, and that is all fine. Because the question is that obviously the differentials has to be taken, but you don't take it so lightly. Easy. Please go to the weights and measures department, file a, a complaint against him. Thank you. Okay. And also try to uh, see to it that this type of uh, act is not done by the builder yes, that with other flat purchasers. I want to do one more thing. Yeah, this I want should to not do be one. an encouragement to the yeah, builder. Even I agree Simon, to that point. You're, you're turning around right now saying, you know what, he hasn't really cheated me. That is not true. Your builder has cheated He's you. Cheated. RTI, the cheated. plans, Each square foot is RTI, worth 10, the plans that the builder has gotten approved with the local government, with the corporation, find out what those blueprints were and what he has built finally. 
you might find a far more problems with that building than what you realize right Simon, now. Simon, has it been measured by an independent architect? No, it has not. Please have it measured by an independent architect. May not yes. cost so much. Also, weights and measures department will measure it for you. Please file a case and with the weights and measures department. Rupees rupees is what it will cost you only. Okay, very measure quick, it. Very quick question to Hemang Jaiwala. If the plan approved by the corporation and what is finally constructed is not the same thing, and Simon goes ahead and takes possession, it now becomes Simon's problem, doesn't it? No, no. Absolutely, ma'am. No, no, no. no. Right. It doesn't no, become no. Simon's Take problem. Possession, Basically, he's still he's cheated. promised something, he is given something else, and he has all the right to file the criminal complaint, go to the weights and measures, because after measurements, you will come to know how many square feet. Without prejudice to his rights. There's a deficiency okay. of goods. By taking possession, you are not giving any of your own right. right. So it okay. is all without prejudice. Nothing all to right. really so Simon, numerous. Simon, you should not be sitting down right now and saying this builder is not really cheating me. He's actually being nice. He's you need to take a hard stand about what's happening right now because you have effectively, my friend, being cheated. And others so, will join you. Yeah, Take I, the first I'll step. Many know. others from the same colony more. will join. So everybody must have suffered the same thing because the plans yeah, must be common. Measurements so every of member of the right, society okay. of the purchase okay, must have suffered Unfortunately, we've run out of time, but our phone Thank lines will stay open. My team will take down the names and numbers of people who call us. Before we leave today, we're Google, we are going to tell you what we're going to do tomorrow. We know that in Bangalore, people took to the streets with their grouse of poor infrastructure and lack of civic amenities. There was a protest march of a thousand people. The ITPL in Bangalore called Save Whitefield. 8,000 people participated from what I'm told. Magic Bricks now has been raising the issue of pro infra poor infrastructure in Bangalore and in Mumbai for some, see for some reason now. If you have a problem in Bangalore or in Mumbai, Take a photograph, send us your problem, call us. We'll be in conversation with top experts from the government tomorrow on this show and you can reach us and you can be part of that conversation on the numbers and the IDs that are flashing at the bottom of your screen. Thank you for watching this show. Stay with Magic Bricks now.